Return to Earth. The scorching, perilous moments faced by spacemen. Whether Russian or American, the men of space have to meet this final challenge. For one, it meant death. Colonel Vladimir Komarov, the man history books will record as the first cosmonaut killed during a space flight. As he trained for what Western observers believed was to be a major step towards a moon landing, Colonel Komarov already knew the hazards of space. In 1964, he had piloted a three-man spacecraft. Vladimir Komarov, like Yuri Gagarin, the first man in space, was a hero. Gagarin had paved the way for all mankind. But his achievement was the start of what is now being quoted as a senseless space race. All are heroes who leave our planet in the name of progress. But progress has its price. An American space program, a Russian space program. How much better if mankind pooled its knowledge in the race for the moon, instead of nations competing with each other for the same goal. American scientists believe a sea landing to be the safest touchdown for astronauts. The Russians do not. This is just one difference. There are many others. Komarov is dead. So too are Americans Ed White, Gus Grissom, and Roger Chaffee. Four men. Could international cooperation have spared their lives? A burnt-out spaceship. The families left without husbands and fathers. Throughout history, the price of achievement is high. Now, as we aim for the moon, we learn, as always, by our mistakes. Thank you.